Hands up if you've ever put on lipstick or lit a candle or read a newspaper. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Canola oil is the third most widely consumed vegetable oil in the world, not just because it's a healthy all-purpose cooking oil, but because it's used to make things like lipsticks, candles, and newspapers. It is the unsung hero in your lives, and a very obvious hero in the lives of the 250,000 Canadians who have jobs in the canola industry. Unfortunately, our canola is under attack. It's under attack by a tiny insect about two millimeters long called the Swede midge. This invasive alien hitchhiked over here from Europe and it's been decimating Ontario's canola. Since 2011, we've lost over half of our acreage to the Swede midge. In the background of this slide, you can see a healthy flowering field of canola plants, which should look like this before they bloom. In this photo, you can see the Swede midge clearly got there first, that plant is not going to bloom and its yields will be severely impacted. Now, thankfully, the midge haven't yet found their way to the prairie provinces, where 92 to 98 percent of all of Canada's canola is grown, and we definitely need to prevent that from happening. Unfortunately, there are some big obstacles in our way. The first is that there are only two registered insecticides in Canada that we can use on the midge, and if it develops resistance to them, then we're in big trouble. To overcome this, we need to be super efficient and only spray the midge when they're at their most vulnerable, which is near the beginning of the summer right as they're emerging from the soil. However, the midge have a super complicated life cycle that we actually don't know very much about, which makes it hard to do things like guess when they'll emerge. This is where my master's research comes in. My project is to build a life cycle model of the Swede midge that will allow us to predict when it emerges so we can nail it with insecticide before its populations explode. To do this though, we need to consider the not knowing very much about Swede midge part. So the first part of my thesis is to gather information. I reared midge at different temperatures to see how that would affect their development, and I found that higher temperatures and consistent rainfall are really important for them. All of this information then goes into part two of my thesis, which is building the model itself. The end result can be used as a forecasting tool that will read weather data and use it to calculate when the midge will emerge. Canola is a $27 billion industry in Canada, which makes it a critical economic driver for us. By using this model, we may yet prevent the midge from spreading to the prairies, keep 250,000 Canadians gainfully employed, and ensure that your lipsticks, candles, and newspapers remain comfortably in hand for years to come. Thank you.